have breaks in this as we follow it along the way. But all things considered, uh, they're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, some of the umbrellas are down in that shot that we just had. Uh, the rains have just about uh, let up so that heavy rainfall of uh, about five or eight minutes is what they have. There you can see the people without the umbrellas. They're in the stands. A uh, lady applauding. They're into it. They're they applauding, Dave, because they see our third float of the parade coming up. The blacksmiths, whitesmiths, and nailers. This is uh, this is actually a working manufactory approaching us here. You can see, I think you can see there, it's drawn by two horses. Well, this was uh, quite an occupation in those days. The blacksmith was an extremely important part of society. Of course, the horse was the main uh, mode of transportation, and they had to keep his shoes in good shape. So a blacksmith was, uh, as the cannon goes off again, another group right behind the blacksmith. Uh, was They're representing what, Colonial Williamsburg, working with, of course, uh, 16th century equipment. Looks like they might be creating a plow iron, a sword, of course the horseshoes as you mentioned, other items of um, 18th century life, did I say 16th century, 18th century life? Well, all of those things were extremely important because they were a part of the lifestyle then and you did not get along without the blacksmith. Make sure you're good friends with the blacksmith. Like being a good friend with the mechanic that takes care of your car today. <laughs> Show him respect. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Ancient Mariners Fife and Drum Corps on your screen now. Well, we've got some rebel rousers right out in front there with the uh, cannon. That's what we've heard. We finally, what... It's finally within sight now, Lisa. And uh, look out, they're going to fire that off any second, I am sure. Our seats are going to rumble a little bit when it does go off. The blacksmith better watch, better watch out there. <laughs> that cannon is directly behind his workshop. There he goes. Is he aiming? I don't know what he's doing. Oh yeah, there's a. Oh, oh boy. You okay, Dave? I, I'm fine <laughs> because I knew that was coming. There was a gentleman who was placed uh, oh, right out boy. in the middle there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all is, all is, is a pretty, fun. pretty good shot. <laughs> Behind this group, of course, is the Ancient Mariner Fife and Drum Corps. That's what you hear in the background. I think I'm going to put his feet in the bucket and, and take him out of there. <laughs> put him in chains. Oh, the bucket goes over his head. away from this. There we go. Well, he's lining up another shot. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Look out. I think they got the same fellow that time. I'm not sure. They didn't believe in negotiations to it. No, that's it. <laughs> they didn't debate issues. <laughs> they? Take action. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. <laughs> Just fire. Forget their eyes completely. All right, get that cannon out of here. We've had enough of the boom, boom. <laughs> Interesting aroma, too. The ancient Mariner's Fife and Drum Corps. They had to beat that, Lisa. Oh, yeah. actually within the past half hour increased uh, some of them scattered a little bit when the rain came most of them just put their umbrellas up and stood ground because they were down here early and they, they got a good vantage point and no way they were going to give that up but it seems as if we've oh we've added uh, even more people to the crowd and of course the umbrellas are down as the rain uh, has stopped actually it's nice because the rain has cooled things off we've got a nice little breeze sitting at our level, at least. <laughs> at his level, I'm not sure. Well, we're up on scaffolding probably about 30 feet, 20 to 30 feet above the street level. 
the ancient mariners, fife and drum. I see the boat builders in the distance there, Dave. Yeah, they're right behind them. It's our fourth float, and remember, we're expecting 30 floats today. Each one just as interesting as the next. Of course, we're still looking here at the ancient Mariners Fife and Drum Corps. 40 members. Well, let's go to the boat builders. There they are. All right. All right. 24, 20. 24 volunteers from the Philadelphia Maritime Museum. And it gives you an idea of the ways in which they did it. Sail making, rope making, other activities. The boat building trade, again, a vital part of society in those days. Designed and built by the Philadelphia Maritime Museum, Dave. They're moving along smartly this morning. All of the participants in this parade are people that have traveled from all over the United States to be here on this Constitution Day. So they have, uh, some of them traveled far and wide. This next group is from Lexington, Massachusetts. 46 member group, uh, Dave. They've been in continuous existence since before the Revolutionary War. Marching today, as you can see, in their buff and navy blue uniforms of the uh, Continental Army. That's, uh, Quite uh, a record to tout. Continuous <laughs> existence since before the Revolutionary War. And yeah, they look pretty good shape, Lacey. <laughs> Don't expect them to be that old. <laughs> From Lexington, Massachusetts. The Lexington Minutemen Company. There's something about the beat of a drum when there's several of them in the. Uh, synchronization like that, that uh, just says something for liberty, excitement. Remember those town criers we saw earlier? Mm -hmm. You ready for some more bell ringing? <laughs> <laughs> We've got 130 bell ringers here. Looks like the majority of this group uh, are women. It appears that way. This group is sponsored by the bell makers of uh, Bumsteadville, Pennsylvania. And they're going to be performing as they go along. The Walmart Handbell Ringers. Can you figure out what they're playing, what that tune is? I'm listening. Let's see. Identified, but it does sound nice. It sounds good, whatever it is. <laughs> Behind the bell ringers, we have the clergy. Seven members of the clergy from various Philadelphia denominations recreate the role of their 1788 predecessors. Religion always a part. And one of the main reasons why people came to this country in the first place for religious freedom, represented by clergy, in their carriages, the representatives of various denominations. All from Philadelphia. Looked like Steve Gutenberg there for a minute. I didn't know Steve was in the clergy. up to the Patriots of uh, Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. This again is a, uh, a young, drum corps. Right, young people. About 85 uh, in this group, please. The 18th century dress performs the music of the Revolutionary War period.
streets of Northern Virginia as our parade continues. We're live in Center City on this Constitution Day, and there's oh so much more to come. We invite you to stay with us. We'll be right back. Salt Sense tastes great because it's real salt. Great taste and 33% less sodium per teaspoon than regular Morton, Sterling, and Red Cross. Salt Sense makes sense. Mmm, it's delicious. Soldiers' pistols. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. You've seen these commercials. Shut secretly in fine restaurants. But maybe you think, no one in my house would fall for that Folgers switch. Well, now you can find out. Write to Folgers Switch at this address, and we'll send you a high-value coupon for Folgers Crystals and a step-by-step -step brochure to do the secret switch at home. Folgers Crystals. Find out if someone in your home will say, well, This tastes just like fresh brew to me. I can't believe it. I'm Grandpa Stroman. When you know what gets me up and keeps me going? My Stroman bread. To bring you my day tasting Stroman, I'll climb mountains. <coughs> Paddle the rapids. Go to any lake. So remember, any time you want great taste with no artificial preservatives, Stroman delivers. Hello, Grandpa. Where'd you get my Stroman bread? At the new market. Now she tells me. <laughs> I make sure the goodness is baked in. I have no doubts. We challenged Michael and Jackson of these piles of cottons, each done in a different liquid fabric softener, which was done in hers. They all feel soft, but this is my fabric softener because it's very bright and very white. <laughs> Touch. I like my white to be really bright and light and, and pure, like snow. Only Final Touch gives you a soft, whiter wash. Softness plus whiter and brighter clothes. Lomax Rug Company, a Philadelphia tradition since 1905, where smart carpet shoppers can get the best values. Lomax has the largest selection of rolls of DuPont Stainmaster carpet in Philadelphia, available for immediate delivery at low discount prices. And our famous $5 a square yard room is better than ever. Visit the Lomax Mill Building at 2900 Jasper Street. That's right, Sonny. Lomax, where great-grandmother bought her carpet. We are back live in Center City as our Constitution Day parade continues. And the excitement is all here. Things are slowly working up. Uh, toward a lot of the larger floats, which will be coming a little bit later on as the rains continue to fall. Umbrellas are up, but the spirit, as we said, has not been dampened whatsoever. Looks like they're serving biscuits. Yeah, Lisa. there may be some people at home right now, Dave, uh, thinking about eating breakfast or eating breakfast. Uh, you can grab a homemade brisket if you <laughs> biscuit, rather, if you come down uh, here at 15th and Arch. Bread and Biscuit Makers, our fifth float. This is a... Uh, a recreation of a horse-drawn float from 1788. It represents a bakehouse. As the bakers from the old Best Page restored village on Long Island, New York. Look at them, boy. They are, they're making the crowd here happy. I don't know if everyone here had the breakfast or not before they I don't know. What, I'd like to see what, get an idea what the biscuits uh, taste like. <laughs> That's the way what... they did it 200 years ago, didn't they? They walked down the streets and tossed biscuits occasionally. Hot, passers hot biscuits down the road. I, guess, I thought you'd have to pay for those biscuits. I don't know, just going along here, passing the biscuits out. They don't fall. They look pretty good. Yeah, Grandpa, Grandpa Stroman, I don't know if he's in that group or not. <laughs> going along, passing out loaves of bread. The bread and biscuit makers. Speaking of vittles. Yes. Is this the vittlers? The, the vittlers. <laughs> This is a very important part, of course, those are the people that provided the, uh, the troops with the necessary food. And, uh, oh, we've got one of our biscuits up here. Did you get one of the biscuits? Well, they are from the Stroman folks, and they're in a wrapper. Oh, I thought they packaged. were just, yeah, they're packaged biscuits. Ooh. We're, we're going to check it out up here. We'll let you know how it tastes. We have a biscuit. Thank you very much, Billy. Uh, these are the Vettlers. These are the people that uh, traveled along and provided food, of course, uh, for the, uh, the forces. How, how, how much do you think those uh, oxen weigh, Dave? I don't know. They're they're heavy. <laughs> they're overweight. They can weigh as much as they want. I'm Three thousand pounds. I'm not going to get in their way. <laughs> and how do you weigh an oxen? That big? I mean, <laughs> get up in the scale, little guy. Come on, jump up here. <laughs> there we go. Their banner: the death of anarchy and confusion shall feed the poor. 
and that's exactly what they did. Got to be uh, a real kick for these young people too. Well, they see a little guy really enjoying the whole thing. The ones oh. dressed up in the parade, <laughs> the usual ones. See a camera, make a face. I mean, yeah. and that's par for the course. But the, the ones in the parade that uh, have been thinking about this and dressing in costume and so forth to uh, to be part of the parade on this day. He's got his his slicker on. He is prepared. We're getting the rain in spurts. I think that the the hoods on the rain gear go up. They come down. Most of the umbrellas are up now, though. That's patting the head from, I assume, his mother or father. <laughs> there the umbrellas are back up again. Multicolored. Again, we're in one of those... Uh, oh, we have some dignitaries there. Some official... Some military people. Mm -hmm. There's one of the biscuits. She's enjoying She's it. She's got one, yeah. Our melting pot is here because we have people of all nationalities from all over the world, not only in this parade, it's a, it's a parade for the people with the people in it. And uh, people from all over the country came to this country to seek uh, their own way of life, their own ideas. A little bit later on today, we're gonna have the People's Parade and we'll have various representatives. There are some of the modern day folks. And we watch this recreation of the federal procession that was held in 1788. heading our way. The Plymouth Fife and Drum Corps. These are 12 to 18 year olds, Dave. They're from Plymouth, Michigan. And as we'll see in just a minute, there's Liz. There's Liz. She just Hi, took Liz. a picture of her. Good shot, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> She's everywhere. She's like the action news van. Oh, yeah. Doesn't miss a trick. She'll tell you all about it on AM Philadelphia. Plymouth Fife and Drum Corps here. 41 members in this group there. As I was mentioning, uh, 12 to 18 year olds. Again, they are from Plymouth, Michigan. They have costumes on uh, their costume design like George Washington's lifeguard. It's not swimming or the beach lifeguard. No, those are the gentlemen assigned to, to make sure that they George guarded Washington. our first president. descendants of the signers of the Constitution, marching clothes reflective of their ancestors, each carrying a banner with the name of the ancestor represented. Take a close look there and see if we recognize any of those names. I see Franklin and Gilman and Johnson. Jennifer, Jennifer McHenry there. McHenry, Williamson, Wilson, Stacey. Washington, Reed, Patterson. 39 descendants of the signers of the Constitution. What a thrill for them to be part of this. Oh, yes. Oh, take a look at what we have behind a grand federal edifice. Oh, boy. This is a recreation of the float of 1788 featuring a dome there, Dave. It's this dome supported by 13 columns. And I think you can guess what those 13 columns represent. Of course, the first 13 states. You may notice that three columns are incomplete to represent, of course, the three states that had not ratified the Constitution uh, by the time of the 1788 Grand Federal Procession, those three states having not ratified, and those three states being New York, North Carolina, and Rhode Island. You got it, Lacey. Right? Check my history. Very now. good. You're, you've done your homework. All right. And like the original edifice, Dave, the float is uh, drawn by a team of horses. You Beautiful saw them in the horses, beginning there. Yes by the Carpenters Company of Philadelphia, and it was organized in 1724. It has met for 50 years since 
1774, well, that's more than 50 years anyway, that's almost 200 years, in Carpenter's Hall in Independence Park. It'll be at least 50 feet tall. That's uh, the largest thing we've seen thus far, and I'm told that uh, even larger floats are on the way. We the People 200 Constitutional Bicentennial Fan Fair Units. About 120 members, brass and percussion ensemble. These are uh, college musicians from all 50 states. And they sound pretty good this morning. This is the second portion of our parade, uh, parade day. You mentioned in the beginning the first, second, and third portions to come. This is the second portion, the preamble section of the parade. And I might mention uh, this unit here. Action News was at the Garden State Racetrack in Cherry Hill yesterday when they were practicing, gearing up, and they sound uh, just as good, if not better, than they did during their practice session yesterday. People, the preamble of the Constitution. Our theme now that's, float. that's our next float. Right, you are, Lisa. We're going to see a large, large float. There it is. Parchment-like scroll with the preamble's opening words: "We, the people of the United States." Behind the scroll, the float is decorated with giant portraits of the five fathers of the Constitution, and in the front, a giant quill from a huge inkwell. You see the feather of that quill right there in the front of your screen. Eight members of the Vintage Dance Theater of Bryn Mawr, 18th century dress, dress alongside. And now we have some vintage automobiles. Right. Antique convertibles, our honorary grand marshals. Who can you tell who's there, Dave? I know who we're expecting. I want to get a little closer look. We're expecting Walter Cronkite. Walter and Peter McDonald there, Dave. Right. McDonald uh, serving an unprecedented fourth term as chairman of the Navajo Nation. There's uh, Walter Cronkite, I believe, inside there. It's pretty dark. There There's he is. Walter. There Good morning, is. Walter. This is the way it is today in Philadelphia, Walter. Certainly looks terrific, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Uh, Long-time network newsman, highly respected still. The years and the events that that man has seen, of course, related to the public over the course of his broadcast career. Distinguished gentlemen, Mr. Walter Cronkite, part of our celebration. Welcome to Philadelphia, Walter. Feel like I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State. I was waiting for the Penn State yeah. marching band. 300 members in this band. A huge band, Dave. Penn State Blue Band of Penn State University. Need we say more? Let's, let's listen to them for a while.
300 members strong of Penn State Blue Band, Penn State University. Representing our area, State College, a lot of alums. Boy, they sound great. They really put a little spurt in this parade today. As they move out smartly, we're going to move out for just a few minutes here, take a little break. We'll come back. There is much more. Constitution Day, 1987 style, some 200 years later. It's happening. Stay with us. How do you know about the birds and the bees? National Geographic. Wonder where she found that. Probably in your sock drawer, sweetheart. 4C, the official breadcrumb of the Davis family. You want beautiful hair? Then drench it. That's why Nexus makes Humectris. It's a potent moisture potion for hair. Humectris gets inside the hair shaft to soak it, drenching dry, damaged hair from the inside out. Lose the frizzies, gain bounce, strength, and luster. You want beautiful hair? Then drench it with Nexus Humectris. Because when it comes to hair, wetter is definitely better. Nexus products, sold only in hairstyling salons. I am making the fastest chicken nuggets in the entire planet. The fastest... People can't believe how fast new microwave hot bites are. Hot bites! Look at them! Look how tasty and delicious! And in only two minutes, I mean... Six nuggets with sauce in two minutes. All tender, juicy breast meat. You know, with these chicken nuggets, I never have to leave the house. I think I never will leave the house. You know, I think I might lock myself in the house all day. New microwave hot bites from Banquet. Wait a second. This isn't my house. I'm in someone else's house. Get me out of here! We're coming back, Dave, on the eighth float of our Constitution Day Parade, the state's float. The first of three floats representing the 50 states and all of the United States territories. So these uh, floats carry the individual state seals and state mottos you can see on the side there. All designed by Raul Rodriguez, diamond design, built by Hargrove. And this first one salutes the original 13 states. As you can see, the uh, seals on the side of the float there, state mottos you might be able to read. A little girl in enjoying herself. <laughs> a little shrug. Of course, little... The, the schools are closed today, which in fact means that to many a youngster who would have been in school is in fact down here today with umbrella in hand or the rain slicker. And the rains come and go. I guess it's going to be that kind of a day. But uh, the young people are here enjoying themselves, and everybody down here is, is having a good time. The youngsters actually getting a little history lesson here this afternoon. Uh, so if they're not in the classroom, and most aren't, they are learning some valuable lessons here, learning about their history, the Constitution, uh, its freedoms and laws, and quite an interesting lesson, lesson for all of us. Yeah, well, we're all part of history, and it's happening right here in our city, and we're pleased about that. There is so much more to come. We invite you to stay with us. We'll be right back. Constitution Day, 1987 style. get more than 10% real juice out of those drinks, no matter how much you pour. But Juicy Juice from Libby's is 100% real fruit juice. Wow! Juicy Juice is a juicier juice. It's 100%. Sometimes the price of a good time is heartburn. Fortunately, Gaviscon works like no other leading antacid to form a soothing barrier between you and heartburn. So if it works like a dream at night, just imagine how it works during the day. I've heard a lot of talk about calcium lately, but I just found out that doctors using OSCAL show that supplements can provide the calcium your body needs to help maintain strong bones. OSCAL, scientifically proven, doctor recommended. <laughs> 